witness is um, um, Bob Mackey versus the Niagara Escarpment Commission with regards to uh, Mackey's Mountain Archery. Um, you will see the fiasco that a person has to go through um, with regards to um, a situation dealing with the Niagara Escarpment Commission and how they can turn the whole situation over um, into a kangaroo court. Um, I hope that you pay heed to what is going to be what is what has been recorded here and uh, I hope you understand why the Niagara landowners and the Ontario landowners uh, run into so many situations where government bureauc bureaucracy is uh, is becoming too powerful and it's time we got it back to the people. This is Al Sweeney, he's interviewing uh, some of the landowners, John O'Neill and Gary Ott. And Paul Downey. And Bob Mackey. <laughs> 17 paces? 17 yards. We're right in front of the uh, Negus Carmen Commission's uh, head office. And so if Gary Otten, could you spell your last name Gary? O T T E N. A G A R R Y. Two R's, yes. Okay. You're Peter Peter Rowe County Landowners Association. Okay, and the point you want to make here? The point I want to make is that off the website of the uh, Georgetown office, the Niagara Escarpment Commission is their agenda is to protect the natural heritage of the area. Uh, Bob's operation is doing exactly that. It's protecting the natural uh, heritage of the area. These people are stepping outside the bounds of their enforcement. Um, their enforcement is to keep that natural heritage protection. He's falling in line with that. They are, um, they are uh, more uh, enforcing zoning upon him than they are recognizing and appreciating uh, the heritage protection in which he's created. Let me ask, get a quick clip of you before you go in. Can, they zoom, can you zoom in on that? Yeah. Because right there it'll say the Niagara Escarpment, and it says right there. Great. Here, can you zoom in on this? <laughs> can you zoom in on this? Do you get the picture? Do you understand? We won't tolerate this type of action from any bureaucracy, none whatsoever. That's what I'm saying. We have to draw the line somewhere. They're taking this guy's business and throwing him and his family out on the street. That's I can't tolerate. I live right down where Bob is. It's a beautiful piece of property. Have they gone and walked on it? Have they paced it? So Gotcha. That's hey. great. Thanks. Right. So what are you hoping for here today? Well, we're hoping for a common sense uh, decision. I mean they've obviously ignored every request we've made in the past to even go and have a look at our property. We we supply a tremendous uh, service for the community. It supplies me with a meager income, or it did until all this stuff started, but uh, it, uh, it's just unfortunate that it had to come to this. And uh, I'll talk to you afterwards, but if it goes against you and they tell you to leave, what are you going to do? I'm going to keep operating, and the uh, fellows that are here to support me today are going to continue to support me. Uh, we have no choice. That's my property. Uh, the NEC has taken away my basic property rights to enjoy my property. Okay, so I just want to ask you, uh, what do you what do you think of this situation that Bob faced? Well, it's an appalling situation. The uh, Niagara Escarpment Commission, through their uh, plan, the only provincial plan in Ontario, is stealing Bob Mackey's property rights, the right for him to use, enjoy, and profit from his private property. He's doing nothing to uh, that is environmentally uh, unfriendly. He's got a very passive business that is very at a very appropriate use of the land that he has. Okay. So what's your what are you going to be telling the Escarpment Commission today when you when you talk? To them? We're going to tell them that the community supports Bob at all levels of politics, his member of parliament, his member of provincial parliament, 
uh, the municipality of the town of Lincoln, uh, support him, all the community groups that use his service, and especially the Ontario Landowners Association. Today we're here with 100 members across, across the province of Ontario to express our strong support for law and use of his private property. And what if the Niagara Escarpment Commission rules against him? If the Niagara Scarpet Commission rules against Bob, Bob continue, will continue to use his property to provide the good service to the community and customers that he serves. They will continue to support him by using his service. The Ontario Landowners Association will stand with Bob and continue to support him strongly for each and every day that he continues in business and we expect that will be hundreds if not thousands of days. Thank you very much, Jack. Okay. So we're here today to help Bob Mackey and his archery range try to survive a wrongful decision that's about to be made, we feel, by the Niagara Escarpment Commission at 1.30 today. Uh, Bob, as you know, has a nine-acre property at Beamsville where he's been running an archery business, training an archery training business, uh, and that is his business, so he, hire, he charges people for the service he has to offer and it's a service that the community values uh, and would like to continue to have. Uh, they're saying that his use of his property is not consistent with the Niagara Escarpment Plan, the only provincial plan in Ontario. It's a very heavy-handed plan and the decision they're about today is very wrong. They're going to be taking Bob's property rights away from him depriving him of the ability to use, enjoy, and profit from his property in a very passive, environmentally friendly way. Our archery range is a, is a very inoffensive, quiet, environmentally friendly type of business. He has quite a lot of trees on his property, and he has a neighbor who has taken exception to what he's doing, and we believe this neighbor is the source of the problem. And the Niagara government has chosen to listen to him. We're going to be going to into the office at 1.30 to speak. There will be four or five of us speak in support of Bob, and uh, including Bob and myself and two or three other people. Herb Schnick, you got your name on the list, and uh, Dave Horton here, wherever Dave is at, right here. Uh, and we're going to be doing the best we can to show the support of the Ontario Landowners Association from, from across the province, from all the community groups that are represented here today, Boy Scouts, Beavers, Green Injury people, uh, uh, there's a ministry, uh, uh, archery in ministry, I think it was called, archers in, ministry. archers in ministry, as well as schools. So it is very obviously a wrong thing that's about to happen to Bob here today, or we anticipate, and we're going to be leaning on the commission as hard as we can to change their mind and get them to do what is right. And that is what we say at, at the Ontario Landowners Association is that we do what is right. And we're going to ask and demand that the Niagara Scarpa today does what is right. And that is vote in support of Bob Mack. So at this point in time, you're going to ask Bob to say a few words. So here's Bob Mack. I'd like to thank everybody for coming out and support. Uh, we do have a tremendous following. Yeah. Everything we do is right in line with the uh, Niagara Scarpa's plan. Forest, reforesting our property and supplying a service for the community, a very valuable service for some of the handicapped, the uh, uh, school students, and just the general general public for recreation. And with the small uh, business that I do run out of my house, I'm able to put some groceries on the table, or at least I, I hope to do that in the future. Uh, it's amazing that these government uh, uh, regulatory bodies don't even speak to one another. The Niagara Scarpa Commission has, has refused to acknowledge what we do, the benefit to the, the uh, property, to the environment, or the service we pro provide for the community. Uh, we have dozens and dozens and dozens of government employees that use our range. Uh, we have people from DFO, uh, we have people from Ministry of Transportation, we have people from the OPP, the Niagara Regional Police, uh, people from uh, health care services. Uh, Farmers? Health, pardon me? Farmers? 
farmers, yeah, farmers, and uh, when they get a chance to come out of the fields, they use come over for some recreation and bring their kids. Uh, we have a junior development program where we had 70 kids out uh, last year, uh, from four years old to 18. Uh, and these kids competed throughout Ontario. We had some six-year-olds that uh, won all Ontario in a program called the Mail Match Program. So this is all pluses for the community. Uh, and these people that sit on the commission, the only one that's ever set, set foot on my property is the planner. And if what they say on their website, their, uh, in the legislation, on the road signs, they call this a world biosphere. And if that is true, what in the world is a planner involved in these, these, in these, uh, these dealings here? People on the commission are the ones with the, that have the credentials and they've never set foot on my property. If they did, they were trespassing because I'm there all the time. Uh, all right. Yeah. Thanks, Bob. Um, I think uh, a lot of us are getting a little tired, a little weary of running across this province trying to protect the rights of our lands. Um, I think for the next four years, we're going to spend uh, quite a bit of our time, and that's what government wants us to do, uh, take us away from our jobs uh, and, and, and dividing us and, and conquering us. And we've got agricultural people fighting for their rights. We've got Bob Mackey fighting for his rights. We've got several other groups fighting for their rights. And the one thing that I want to bring to everyone's attention is the fact that uh, when they develop these boards and that you sit on as a, as a commission, like the Niagara Commission, um, there are no landowners that sit on these boards. They're hand-picked. They're weighed in the favor of their own agendas, and I'll bring to your attention that we're to protect the natural heritage um, in our green belts, but yet Lafarge sits on this board, and I don't think there's uh, any industry that brings more of a detriment uh, to a green belt than agriculture, our, our, our uh, aggregate uh, extraction. Um, when we look at planting seeds for agriculture, I think we have to look at Bob and say, yeah, he planted seeds of enjoyment, and now he's harvesting those seeds. and. Um, the natural heritage is what the, the Niagara Escarpment Commission is supposed to be protecting, and he's certainly falling into that category of natural heritage. So I guess what we have to ask is, are they truly protecting the natural heritage for the public good? And if they are, why do they not let Bob harvest that he has given to the public because it is for the public use is what this uh, Niagara Escarpment and uh, the Green Belt is all about. Um, the public is enjoying uh, the benefits uh, of his industry and yet they want to force him out of business to allow, I guess, whatever suits their agenda or whatever their special use is. And uh, it seems to us that uh, there are more corporations that uh, benefit from this than there is private landowners. Thank you. I guess that uh, the night was started, the ball rolling, was two telephone calls I got from neighbors of uh, Bob's uh, requesting my uh, sympathy in their cause. And uh, what they said on the phone and what I found when I visited this place was highly inaccurate. At the same time, I uh, called on Bob, being the director of OFA for 25 years. I went to our district rep in Smithville, and I said, Henry, I want you to go down and look about problem over and see if we can get OFA on site. I told Bob that he would come. It went on 10 days for two weeks and he never showed up. I went back in his office and he had more darn reason why he shouldn't go out to Bob's and you can throw a stick at him. 
that's when the telephone calls started going down to Alexandria, and that's why the landowners are there. And this is so ridiculous. It is so ridiculous that it, I hope the common sense prevails. Brain injury community reentry. Uh, I, I just want to say on behalf of our, our clients uh, who, who go out every Wednesday to, Arch, to Mackey's for archery that it's uh, it'd, be, it'd be a travesty for them not to be able to go out there. Uh, not only does Bob provide all the equipment at a, at a low cost or no cost at all if they can't afford it, but it improves their social skills, their hand eye coordination. It's a very therapeutic activity for our clients to take part in. And I know they truly enjoy it and they get to see how much they improve while they're out there. So not only from when we started 11 months ago, some of our clients have not only proceeded and gone beyond their expectations, they've gotten to the point where they've purchased their own bows and their own equipment because that's how much they enjoy it. So we're here to support Bob and uh, keep things running for our guys as well. Thanks. Well, my name's John O'Neill. I joined the Niagara Landowners Association when it was first created and we're here to do something about this. We're not going to sit down and tolerate this anymore. More and more people from what I've seen in the meetings that I've been at are definitely in trouble with all sorts of bureaucracy. Who can put up with this? I can't put up with it. I rely on landowners like yourselves, to get the job done. And that's what we're here to do today. Bob, you got my 110% support. You always will in this effort, no matter what. Yeah, yeah! And I'll tell you, thank you! And I'll tell you, we are gonna put this kind of stuff to rest. We're not gonna tolerate it. We gotta get together. I'll never stop. We'll never stop. We'll keep going. We'll struggle through this thing one step at a time. Every single property owner has an issue. We're going to deal with it on a one-on-one -on -one basis, one at a time, until we get through this 110%. We cannot tolerate this. That's why we're going to go in there, and we're going to show them. Now, that is the way I feel about it. And that's the way we should all feel about it. I just want to say that we're we're here not in the large quantities. Uh, I have to go right back to work. I only whipped over here from the courthouse and uh, here to show a little bit of support. My husband's going to stay, but uh, we feel that this is the, a perfect thing that Mr. Mackey is uh, running. Uh, perfect use for land, especially land that's not perfect land to farm on. And uh, what uh, a great thing to be giving to the community. And I think it's totally inappropriate. Totally inappropriate in the end. You know, it's fighting against him doing what is good for both the community and the land. He's doing reforestation and everything. And I cannot see a good reason to fight this. Or if I can see our good reason to fight and support a Bob, I do not see an appropriate reason for the NEC to fight against Bob. So I, I wish everybody luck this afternoon. I wish I could stay. But uh, I'm the president of Duffin County Association, and we've been doing a lot of listening and saying that we cannot do nothing against the government because they're always right. Well, Bob Mack is one of the guys that's going to help us prove by standing up and getting together with a big group, we can do something. I'm a private citizen. I'm I'm here to support Bob Mackey and his endeavors to bring on, I think what's one of your right in that appropriate use of the land as the NEC hopefully dictated the land going back to the more natural causes. Bob's planting 3,000 trees out there. Who else? Everybody else wants to cut the trees down. He wants to plant them. And it's a good use for the municipality, for the community in general. Thank you. Okay. This is uh, Dave Honey. I'm with. I'm the president of the uh, Niagara Landowners Association. Bob's my vice president and treasurer and everything else. He does all the talking for me usually. And I just want to say to the Niagara Escarpment Commission that 
Okay. If things do go sour today, that our fight doesn't stop here. We will continue and we will keep on the pressure with the Niagara Scarp Escarpment Commission. And if their pressure increases, our pressure is going to double. So I hope they understand this. This is not a democratic process that, that is here. The, uh, the chair of the Niagara Escarpment Commission is appointed. There is no democratic system within their rooms. And it should be made public that we want the power back into the hands of the people. The stewards of the land, the people that own the land, the farmers, the landowners, are the best people to look after the land. They're the ones that have to live with it 24 hours a day. Why would we destroy it? And the public has to get behind us and let us, you know, and help us through this. So, Bob, we're behind you 110%, and we're going to stay there. All the best to you. Thank you, Dave. They're the stewards of the land, and I think in the future, well, actually, what frosts my pickle here is that you get political appointees making decisions not because of what they know or what they've done, because they certainly haven't gone and inspected this property. I went for the first time and saw for myself. It's a pristine use of this land. He's got an indoor range. There's no danger to uh, anyone walking the, the property. He's got uh, trees that he's put in. So in fact, he's reclaiming the, reclaiming the land for forest for uh, for what the natural state was. And he's actually training people on how to properly shoot uh, bows and arrows. And he's training. A number of people, I'm going to start using this facility. That's my decision today. And that's what really frosts my pitfall. The people that are up here making decisions, it's not a democratic system. It's political appointees that are chosen not for what they know or for what they're doing in this job, but for what they did as political PACs. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Come on in, Bill. Jack, get in there. Come on, Jack. Split the arrow. Can you do it on the other hand? I don't know if I want to stay here.